So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to use subplots to draw more than one plot. And also in, I will show you how to draw bar charts using the data. So let me run the, what we had done in the previous video. So we had drawn this simple plot, which has years from 1950 to 2030 and uh, population in billions in Y axis. So we had drawn for Indian population and Chinese population. So let me show you how to use subplots. I will show you how to plot two subplots in the same adjacent plane. So we'll first remove this XKCD function and let me use some style. So we'll use ggplot for this video and you can just comment out the plot function plot function first and now the subplots are plotted as in a way of matrix so if you want to plot three plots so what it does is three into one so let, let it will be in the matrix form that is in the first row it will have three plots and it will have first subplot so like that in the matrix format it will be like two and one three and three so these are passed as a parameters to the subplot function so let me just show you so with the type plt dot subplot so in that we'll pass our first one row and we'll, we'll display two subplots two comma first subplot okay this is like indexing so we'll give the plot function now and inside that we'll pass our year comma population population of china comma label equal to china comma color will give it as orange or not orange red will give okay so we'll give plot dot title it will be subplot one and our x label y label will give it as year and uh, y label will be population millions so same way we'll type it for subplot two in that we'll pass one comma second subplot comma two and we'll type plt dot plot function in that we'll pass year comma population of India comma label equal to India comma color equal to green so remember we have to pass the legend function on top also below the first subplot and we'll type title so plt dot title will give it as subplot two just copy the x label and y label from top okay and we'll save and we'll run so as you can see we got two subplots and in one we have china and another one is in india we have yeah but you can see that uh, one is little bit bigger and one is a little bit smaller the grid function this is, I think, the due to the values which are passed. 
Okay, so this is how you plot two subplots side by side. You can also try with different method like style that is 538. So let me see that how it looks. Okay, so this look, this looks uh, really nice. So this is 538 style. Okay, so we'll create a new file for bar charts. So we'll type bar chart. Yes. And as you can see also, it is added to our Git repository. And also I have uploaded for subplot. We'll copy the data from our main file to the bar chart. Okay, that is here population China, India, and we get the uh, ending lines and place it here. Okay. We can just directly plot the bar chart using bar function in that we we'll pass the same year and population of India comma labor equal to we'll pass India comma color equal to green okay so same we'll copy and paste it here and here we pass population of China and we make it label as China and color will be gray red. So so if we now run this file we'll get bar chart like this our china bar chart is showing perfectly but our green colored india's bar chart is like little bit showcasing this is actually happening because the china is uh, china bar chart is overlaying on top of india's bar chart let me show you so for that we can use a method that is that uses offset to separate out the values but first what we will do is we'll trim down our data so we will we'll only contain values from 2015 to 2025 so that we can slow this okay. okay so now it is done let me comment this out you can run this it will give a bar chart so what if we want to draw one more bar chart so if we run we cannot see the green one it is overlaid by the this china's population so for that we have a method to overcome that so for that we have to use something called as width so by default it is 0 0.25 I guess okay and we also have to pass indices to create variable called indices and in that we pass the function 
from numpy np dot a range and it will contain the length of our this should actually come on top right here so it should contain our year list okay so we have not imported numpy yet so just import it okay the numpy is imported and what we have to do is we have to pass the indices in each and every function of path so we type indices comma here and again indices comma here so if we run it again, we see full red color because these indices are not properly set up to work with our years in particular. So it is just giving us the index from 0 to 10. Okay, so what we will do is we'll for first bar, we'll do indices, indices minus width. For the second, we'll keep it as same. And we'll pass width equal to width so that the function will know that we have changed the width value. And also we'll include just to support our title in the next level and while so this will be for the first one and for we not will not require for a second just to paste it below. Now, okay, got an error. It is saying we got multiple. So we forgot to remove the year because we are already passing it through the indices. So we remove here and we we'll also remove here from here. And if we save and if we run, we can see. India versus China comparison, but years are still showing as indices. So for that to work, we have to pass a function called vid dot x ticks. So in that we have to pass ticks as parameter. For that we we'll pass our indices variable and comma. We we'll also pass label equal to the year and if we save and if we run you can see our years are shown here you can see the growth is increasing and actually at around 2022 23 24 India is like Near to China. In 25, we cross to China. Yes. So, this is how we plot a bar chart, a vertical bar chart actually. So, I will see you in the next video.